so before I move on to the remainder of the sub-module slides, what I want to highlight here are some key ideas that you will see over and over um, in the next uh, three sub-modules. It's the idea of uh, differentiation. And this uh, differentiation, it happens in different, uh, it happens at at least to two different scales. One that uh, that uh, it's more evident, or not more evident, that they, uh, gives us some, uh, sometimes it's more useful, is the planetary differentiation, which I will describe in the next few slides. And there's also differentiation that does occur in the solar system scale. And uh, these slides here uh, describe that differentiation. So this is the differentiation that occurs on the solar system scale. And you mostly see it in the composition of the, the bodies. Um, so these inner four major planets are what we call terrestrial planets. It's a rocky planet. It's made up of uh, silicates and iron. And the outer four planets are what we call Jovian planets or gas giants or gas and ice giants. And they are made up. Uh, so they do have, uh, we think they have rocky core inside, but their vast majority of the mass and the bulk is made up of um, uh, uh, water, um, the um, well, <laughs> water, ammonia, and um, so uh, materials that contain high, lighter elements, hydrogen, oxygen, um, and the driving force for the solar system differentiation, as you will see described later, is the is the temperature uh, with the difference in the distance from the sun. Um, and uh, the, by the way, the scale here is not the scale of distances. It's the scale of temperatures. <laughs> Distance-wise, this whole thing doesn't make sense. The outer planets are farther apart from each other. <laughs> but uh, in the temperature scale, so what you see is um, the closer to the sun, these uh, elements that uh, uh, precipitate at lower temperatures, they they were just boiled off. So mercury doesn't have an atmosphere. It uh, it's uh, uh, fairly dense for its size, and um, and it's only when you go out farther out to Jupiter or so that you see um, that you see large quantities of uh, compounds and substances that uh, evaporate at at uh, lower temperatures. And uh, with uh, and this is an illustration of planetary differentiation, which you will again see in future submodules. Is um, so, I think it's easiest to see in see directly in the terrestrial planets like Earth here. Earth is the terrestrial planet that we know the most about. Um, in the earlier stage of solar system. Uh, we think Earth was molten. It, it, from uh, various sources of heat, Earth was much hotter. And when Earth was hotter and everything was molten, the heavier, denser elements sink uh, to the core of the planet. So we have an iron nickel core in the center, it's denser. And outer in the mantle, the most common elements are, um, the most common materials are silicates, uh, rocks, uh, well, I guess silicate, <laughs> silicon containing uh, compounds. So, so, um, and this uh, awareness of this uh, planetary differentiation, it helps us identify, um, for example, asteroid and meteorite uh, fragments. When you see a uh, differentiated asteroid, when you see a differentiated material, you can tell that that material has undergone this kind of a process. And um, we'll talk about uh, primitive rocks, which gives us the most information about early stages of the solar system. Uh, those are the, the, uh, the solar system debris that hasn't undergone differentiation. And um, we look at the degree of differentiation to uh, see if it, uh, this particular piece of chunk was um, originally part of a larger body or uh, from part of the original uh, material that the solar system 
uh, was made out of. 